After the Indo-Pakistani conflict, over-the-horizon air combat has officially entered the 100-kilometer era. As the combat distance continues to lengthen, the performance of the radar needs to be increased. If your radar can only lock 100 kilometers within the range of enemy aircraft, then even if equipped with air-to-air -air missiles with a range of 200 kilometers, it is difficult to hit the target. Instead, it is likely to be preempted by the enemy 100 kilometers away and suffer a one-sided blow. In future air combat, whoever has a more advanced avionics system, especially a stronger radar detection capability, will have a greater advantage. Major military powers have long been in the field of airborne radar technology to start fierce competition. Active phased array radar has become a necessary equipment for modern fighters. The lack of this technology, even if the aircraft can fly out of the airport, will be regarded as technologically backward products. Even India is busy, replacing its Su-30 MKI fighters with domestically produced active, phased array radars, which makes Russia, which still produces passive, phased array radars, look rather embarrassed. Active phased array radar itself also exists in different stages of development. The first generation of active phased array radar used by the radio frequency and receiver module, mostly using silicon and germanium materials. However, with the continuous increase in radar power, the defect of these two materials and heat dissipation are increasingly prominent. Thus, the second generation of active phased array radar came into being, the use of compound semiconductor materials, gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide not only has good heat and radiation resistance, but also very sensitive to the magnetic field. Made of devices with fast frequency response, high operating temperature, quickly won the favor of all countries. For example, F-22N, a PG-77 and F-35N, a PG-81 radar used gallium arsenide technology into the era of strong electromagnetic interference. Radar not only to be able to detect a longer distance, but also must be able to penetrate the complex electronic interference environment. The performance of gallium arsenide has gradually reached a bottleneck and able to meet future needs. Thus, the third generation of active phased array radar was born, gallium nitride radar. Simply put, the forbidden band width of gallium nitride far exceeds that of gallium arsenide. Just like the piston stroke and cylinder diameter of the engine are larger, the explosive force and anti-heat and anti-jamming ability to multiply. In the field of gallium nitride radar, China has walked in the forefront of the world, J10C, J16 and J20 are equipped with gallium nitride radar. After the outbreak of India-Pakistan conflict, the face of radar reflection area of less than one square meter and equipped with spectrum, electronic warfare system of the French Rafale fighter. J10C can be successfully locked in 160 kilometers away and launch missiles, which fully embodies the gallium nitride radar in the detection distance and anti-jamming of the significant advantages. At present, the United States is also upgrading the gallium nitride radar for F-35 fighters. The new batch of F-35, equipped with an a PG-85 radar using gallium nitride technology, detection distance compared to an a PG-81, increased by 50%. See the United States in the field of airborne radar gradually narrowed the gap with China. China will not stand still. A new generation of active phased array radar research and development has long been on the agenda. In addition to optimizing algorithms and manufacturing processes to improve radar performance, the most effective path is a breakthrough in materials technology. This time, the Chinese research team chose silicon carbide as the core material of the new generation radar. According to the South China Morning Post, the new silicon carbide active phase array radar tested on the J-20 stealth fighter has doubled its detection range. Compared with gallium nitride, silicon carbide can withstand higher voltages, and the transmitter, receiver assemblies made from it have high output power, high thermal conductivity, and excellent resistance to high temperatures. In fact, the superior performance of silicon carbide has long been recognized by scientists around the world, but due to the difficulty and high cost of processing, it has never been possible to achieve large-scale practicality. To realize stable mass production of silicon carbide T, or components, it is necessary to have an advanced semiconductor manufacturing process. Chinese researchers have successfully upgraded silicon carbide chips from 2 inches to 12 inches for large-scale production after years of research. The South China Morning Post pointed out that the J-20, equipped with silicon carbide radar may reach, or even exceed, 
1,000 kilometers in its limit detection range. This figure is mainly for strategic bombers or transport planes with a radar reflective cross-section area of about 100 square meters. For ordinary fighters with an RCS of about 5 square meters, the detection distance is about 500 kilometers. For semi-stealth fighters with an RCS of less than 1 square meter, the detection distance is still more than 200 kilometers. For stealth fighters like the F-35, the detection distance can be close to 100 kilometers. In addition, silicon carbide has high thermal and chemical stability and can maintain stable operation in extreme environments, greatly extending the radar's MTBF and reducing maintenance requirements. The excellent heat dissipation capability and efficiency ensure that the radar can continue to work at high intensity, making the system more robust and durable, thus enhancing the operational readiness and mobilization rate of the aircraft. If the silicon carbide radar is formally equipped with domestically produced warplanes, it means that China has the ability to launch over-the-horizon precision strikes using fifth-generation aircraft, which will revolutionize the rules of future air warfare. More importantly, the sixth-generation aircraft equipped with silicon carbide radar will play a synergistic effect of 1 plus O and E greater than TWO. According to currently known information, China's sixth-generation aircraft compared to the J-20 has a longer range, stronger stealth performance and a richer weapons mounting capacity, reflecting the offensive air combat concept that is no longer passive defense, but the initiative to the Western Pacific vast airspace, hunting U.S. aircraft. For example, J-20 and the implementation of anti-intervention area denial combat. Behind the early warning aircraft and electronic warfare aircraft assistance, even if only equipped with gallium nitride radar, but also basically meet the needs of actual combat. Targets that are farther away will be discovered by early warning aircraft, and the J-20 will perform locking and missile launching. However, the PL-15 missiles used by the J-20 have a range of less than 300 kilometers and are unable to shoot down targets at longer distances. The sixth-generation aircraft will face a completely different environment, it is alone, lacks support from AWACS and electronic warfare aircraft, and must independently search for and fight against strong electronic interference. In this case, the sixth-generation aircraft must be equipped with more powerful radar. Existing gallium nitride radar is already difficult to meet the demand, and silicon carbide active phased array radar is the perfect solution to this problem. The sixth-generation aircraft has a larger magazine, in addition to the ability to mount air-to-ground missiles. Another important upgrade is to support the PL-17 long-range air-to-air missiles with a guaranteed range of 300 kilometers. To play the full power of PL-17, must have the ability to lock 300 kilometers away from the enemy aircraft in a strong electromagnetic interference environment. Gallium nitride radar is difficult to meet this requirement, only silicon carbide radar is capable of. Equipped with silicon carbide radar, the sixth-generation aircraft can take the initiative in the airspace near the second island chain to hunt down U.S. warplanes. With the combination of silicon carbide radar and PL-17 missiles, the sixth-generation aircraft will become a real, big plane killer. Strategic bombers, early warning aircraft, refueling planes are within its range. At the same time, with full stealth capabilities and faster, cruising speed, the U.S. military intercept the sixth-generation aircraft greatly increased the difficulty and even the U.S. military early warning aircraft may detect the sixth-generation aircraft before the sixth-generation aircraft to PL-17 missiles locked. Faced with the threat of sixth-generation aircraft, U.S. bombers and refueling planes can only be forced to retreat. In the past, the U.S. military aircraft, as long as they do not enter the J-20 radius of operation, can be relatively safe and 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers away from the Chinese mainland airspace the U.S. bombers can still launch long-range cruise missiles. Posing a threat to China, refueling tankers can also support fighters to continue to fight in the Taiwan Strait airspace. But the sixth generation extends this threat range to about 3,000 kilometers, and the threat from U.S. bombers is dramatically reduced. Refueling aircraft retreat to 3,000 kilometers from the Chinese mainland position means that the fighter refueling still need to fly about 3,000 kilometers to arrive in the Taiwan Strait, which has been close to the range limit of the F-22 and F-35. The end of the combat is even difficult to return to the flight. U.S. refueling aircraft either risk entering the killing range of the sixth-generation aircraft or fighters landing directly on Taiwan airports facing the risk of being captured by the PLA. Therefore, silicon carbide active phased array radar is not only in the tactical level to enhance the air combat capability, but also in the strategic level to reshape the pattern of the Asia-Pacific Air Force. Facing the Chinese sixth-generation aircraft with clairvoyance, 
The U.S. military is at an absolute disadvantage in over-the-horizon air combat, especially the United States' mass production of F-35 fighters. Its flight performance is not outstanding, mainly relying on stealth and advanced avionics to maintain combat power. Faced with J-20, F-35 can still rely on stealth performance to maintain a certain degree of survivability, but in the face of sixth-generation aircraft equipped with silicon carbide radar, its stealth advantage will no longer exist. Even if the sixth-generation aircraft cannot lock the F-35 and 300 kilometers away, about 100 kilometers away from the lock is still easy. F-35 maximum flight speed is only about Mach 1.6, once locked will be difficult to escape, and ultimately reduced to over-the-horizon missiles target aircraft. Silicon carbide radar once practical, not only sixth-generation aircraft can be equipped, red flag minus nine air defense missiles, 055 type destroyers. Air Force minus 3000 early warning aircraft can also use this technology. In this way, the plow will be in the land, sea and air forces to establish a highly efficient anti-stealth detection system so that the U.S. stealth fighters and stealth cruise missiles have nothing to hide. The U.S. military electronic warplanes are also difficult to play a fist.